Lou and oh shit, gotta adjust the volume. Because freaking use the caps card for the audio now, because. Well, it doesn't go well with the TV at all. It like moots the audio on the TV for some reason. So. I haven't played this game in years. So I decided. Well, I'll get around to eventually helping it sooner or later, so let's do this. Final Fantasy X. Wait, this is the one that has that long ass intro that's. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we see this at the start of the game as well, I think. So we'll skip that. Man, it's been so long! You know, I've never actually legitimately beat this game without cheats. Which is kind of funny, really, because now I'm more like... I've played more RPGs since this game, you know? When I first played this game, it was probably around 2007 or 8. And... It was my first time playing a Final Fantasy game. And... I wouldn't say it's the first time playing an RPG, but... It felt like it to me, because I was a total noob to this type of gameplay. So, with that in mind, like... Final Fantasy VIII and IX, for example, when I let's play them, I, like, even went through all the optional stuff and all that. I'd become a pro at that a bit, you know? So, I wonder how it'll go now that I'm revisiting it after all these years. Character Advancement System Selection Final Fantasy X features two versions of birds chirping, the standard spear one or the expert one. God damn, I can't even remember how the grid system works. Uh, go standard. I cannot switch grids in game. Ow. Uh, um, uh. Uh, oh man, you already with these difficult choices. I haven't played this game in years, so there you go with standard. I'm got a clue. I remember how it looks, but I can't quite remember fully how it works. See what I mean? By seeing the intro, yeah. Which is actually, uh, it plays much later on in the game. Like, a lot of time, like, passes before it gets to that point of the game. So the intro just kind of leaves you wondering, it's like, so what is all this about? They're all around a fire, all these characters, who are they? Why are they there? What are they doing? Why does it have a somber kind of feel to it? Why is this music so beautiful? All these answers will be revealed in due time. By the way, I'm playing the original on PS2. Just thought I'd point that out, because there is like a HD kind of version now. I haven't actually got that version. I've heard some of the soundtrack on the new version, and honestly, I kind of prefer the original. So we're going with the original, even though if I did get the HD version, I could like play on my PS3, which would make this easier, because one, the audio thing doesn't have the same issue with the capture card, where I can only have the audio coming from one point, and not from my TV, yeah, stuck in my laptop when it's like that, it's just like, ah. And secondly, I don't have to friggin' keep switching between the freaking goddamn power cable and all that crap. Plug it in, just like, okay, take it out of the PS3, into the PS2, out of the PS2, into the PS3, out of the... Oh, it's so awkward. As is some of the voice acting in this game that we will hear, uh, eventually. I don't know. It kind of grows on you, but some of the voice acting's alright, some of it's a bit, like, uh, as awkward as mine. If, yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about. This happens every time I record. I used to be able to play this, like, all of it on my keyboard. Listen to my story. Yeah, yeah. 
This may be our last chance. Just like, ooh, what, what is your story? What is this last chance? Just like, well, find out after many hours of gameplay when we return to this point and you'll find out what exactly was all about. Well, I don't know, Final Fantasy X. But yeah, I used to be able to play this on my keyboard, piano, or whatever, and all that. I've since forgotten all but that main part. Like, do, 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 do. The version has the left hand on pages, like, do, 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 bits, though. Never was able to do that, ever. That's just, ah. Can't handle it. Leaves there kind of reminded me of Pokemon. It looked like a Pokeball, which was actually something I was just like thinking of not too long ago. Actually, it was thinking, you know what? I've said before that I probably won't LP in our Pokemon game, but then I was like, wait, Pokemon XD Gales of Darkness, I think it's called. I haven't actually played it, and uh, I was like, maybe that. So I looked online. The price for that game is ridiculous. Like, 50 quid, 100 quid, just like, it's a GameCube game. It was never freaking have that kind of price when it was originally released. Just like, man, the freaking second-hand prices are ridiculous. So I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck that. Maybe if I can find a decent price on it, but fuck that. But anyway, let's get the show on the road. Do do the remix of this music that's been around since the first game. I haven't actually played the first one. Can you find it? No problem. Now we get on name. You know, I I and a lot of people probably like with his name pronounced as Titus, but it's apparently Titus. So I'm going with Titus because that's what I'm kinda used to. It's just like I don't care if the pronunciation's wrong. I, it's it's whatever. I'm not changing the name, just keep it as it is, because nobody actually says his name. Well, they do, but not spoken out loud. Alrighty. Alrighty, this ball here. Wait. Take it easy. Has he even got anything to write on? So we got like our fans that we just like sign their balls. Of course. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal, I'll uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> Man, the intro What's is so it? awkward. Man, these graphics haven't aged well, have they, really? But, hey, it's like early days of the PS2, essentially, isn't it? Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three... She just had a blitz! Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then, she just after! Maybe tonight, um... You can't tonight. Who the hell are you? I mean, tomorrow. You know, that's actually... Promise? Promise. Well, this cutscene's going to be extended, so I might as well talk while they're not talking. That character that was like, not tonight, is going to show up much later on. So, I've... Like, what's up with that, anyway? The appearance that he's just like... Oh, no, maybe not tonight. I'm still unsure. I haven't played this game in years, as I mentioned. But I do remember bits and pieces of the plots.
Beautiful music. <laughs> I was waiting for that. A bit delayed there. I was there. in a coffee shop running away from home when I heard the news. Our hero, checked, gone, vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanar, I says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa. Didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, ten years later, the Jack Memorial Cup tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Aves from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Aves. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. What kind of super play will he show us today? Will we see his father's legendary shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. You done talking? <laughs> I have a habit with that. You know, like, some people will talk while, like, cutscenes are playing or characters talking in game kind of thing, but I try to be quiet for them. It's like, oh, yeah. But Jack is essentially that guy up there, aka the protagonist here's dad. And is it just me, or is this uh, music track sound a bit like Balam Garden from Final Fantasy VIII? Well, same composer, same difference, same overall kind of style, so it's bound to have some similarities throughout the games. But it's still nice. I like it. I think it's just to say, it's gonna be a killer game tonight, I know it. Nothing interesting then. Hurry up, the game's about to start. You better hurry, the game can't start, start without you. You better win or I'll deck you one, pow! Did a kid just say that? They say that you've got some good tricks even your old man couldn't do. Well, well, if it isn't Jack Jr. Man, I can s Nah, never mind. Whoa, I got the shivers. Maybe I'm coming down with something. What's going on here? She's over here and over there, and I think she's over there as well. How weird! Careful, as that gun Douglas mean business tonight. I can't tell what gender you are from here. Hey, Mr. Star Player of the Apes, see your stuff out there tonight, and maybe you'll get laid. Good luck, Titus. Titus, Titus, Tata, ta whatever. Zack and Abe's rule! Hit him with a deck shot, okay? We've all got the same goofyish voices. Is, is, no. I don't feel so good, like I'm on a roller coaster going down. I don't think I've ever actually talked to every character here. Or maybe it's because I haven't played this game in years. All of Zanakin's watching now, so what a show for him. I'm sure he'll be the star player this year. And tickets for tonight's game cost an arm and a leg. Zed Ganaves are counting on you, don't let them down. Should also mention the game in question is a game called Blitzball, and it's essentially like underwater soccer of some sort. It's pretty bizarre. I've never been good at it, so. Make way, make way. I have no idea how I'll go about it through, when we get sorry. to the game that we actually play, and it's not actually in the intro. Hey, I'm gonna be late. Excuse me. Hey, let go of me. Is it time? Oh, it's time. Yeah! This is an awesome way to make an intro. Even though you're just like, what the fuck is going on? But it's just like the graphics suddenly improve. 
awesome metal music. It's awesome. Go jump into the electric pit of death. Except it's not an electric pit of death. That right there is the most badass character in this game. He, do he doesn't have to say anything yet. We already can kind of realize he's probably going to be a badass of some sort. It's just like, what the fuck is going on? Actually, it's more like, uh... I don't know. What kind of game would that be, anyway? It doesn't even make sense. And again, not sports person. What? You just got smashed through the crowd? Yeah, I don't really understand what it's all. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? That was a game that brought down the roof. Actually, I don't think that place had a roof. Alright, settle down now with your chip. How did he even survive that? Oh, what a terrible game that was. We were winning and then... Oh! Interference happened. Stupid other team. I blame them! Those uh, Duggles, wherever they are. Assholes bring the apocalypse in for interference, if so that I don't even know. Rigged! Huh. Orin! What are you doing here? I was waiting for you. What are you talking about? So yeah, his name is Orin. You only get to name the protagonist. It begins. What? Don't cry. of grunting and hey, o's and wait. uh what the hell is going on i think that's probably on any player's mind when they come to this point it's like what the hell man hey, not this way random apocalypse Look. whoa the graphics have been enhanced Temporarily. We call it sin. Sin? We also called it thing with tentacles, but it didn't catch on.
Well, it's time to fight Sin's dandruff, I guess. It'd be funny if that was the name of the monsters, wouldn't it? Why was he even carrying that? Well, no question, it's an RPG. We carry God knows how many things. No, I use the sword. What are you even doing? Noob? Well, I hope you know how to use it. Well, I can kick a ball, so I'm sure I can handle it. Random encounter! Well, encounter is random. These ones don't matter. Cut through. Okay. I remember how this works. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it, really? One shot it! One shot it! Don't bother going after all of them. Cut the ones that matter and run. Spines out! Kinda looks like a tower with tentacles on it. Not Demi. Characters overdrive, George. Bit. If the HP MP display is full, a character may use a special attack once. Press back or left on the yeah, yeah. in the command window to use an overdrive. Okay, it's a combination, I think. I get used to those. Get out of here! I didn't get mine though, but hey, I'll just spit slap him a little. Ow! Overdrive! I forget how that one works, it doesn't explain, does it? So you don't get like extra attacks in there as well. I think you pressed X, but it didn't seem to be working for me. Maybe it's all one, I can't really remember. It's been years. Ow, oh, we're in the yellow zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop damning me, you bastard! Ow! Is it there? Oh, we got a potion. Kinda of pointless to use in this fight since you're gonna be spamming that the whole time. And it's best to just keep in them until he drops. Ha! Get out of here! Tentacles allowed in 
that again. That looks like one of those fancy kind of perfume bottles or something. New tentacle spray installs now. Wait up, man! We got another random encounter at some point. Pesky turn based system thing, we could just knock them all out in one swing. What can you do? Take them all on at once. Oh my god, there's like four turns there. I think, uh, Warden. Well, what we do is, uh, I'm not sure, maybe we have to wait till they kind of like point it out. At least their aim is crap. Yeah, we've got to wait. See that uh, generator, whatever the hell it is over there in the right? Eventually we get to attack that, because eventually it's just like, oh, screw this shit, this is endless, and they just decide to attack that instead. <laughs> but not yet. Because they keep respawning, and at some point they're just like, yeah, we got to attack that thing instead. Just like, hey, but let's knock your HP down a bit first. Hmm. This could be bad. That. Knock it down. What? Trust me, you'll see. It's conveniently placed so that we'll have a chance with this. Oh man, there's a lot of turns, but well, I'll risk it. Ah. Oh, oh god. Um, uh, I think we had some of these, but better healing with it as well. Ah, boys! Destroy it! Destroy it! Spines! Oh! movie. Explosions everywhere. Dramatic leap! Q! Awesome music. There. Warren! Warren! Sure. 
this is it. This is your story. It all begins here. What a way to have an intro for a game right there. It's just like, oh, so they're going to be playing Blitzball. What the hell is a Blitzball? Hey. And then, bam. Hey! You going to answer that? My old man? Is that a flaming... Is that a J? Can't move camera around. I'm suddenly flying, swimming through the air. I have no idea what I'm doing. This game really does give you like a what the hell is going on kind of intro there, isn't it? It's like a moment I was playing some game called Blitzball and then suddenly I'm just like... Everything just went to shit. And then this badass was just like, hey, it all begins now and stuff. And I f just don't even know what I'm doing. I thought about a lot of things. Like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel uh, lightheaded and then sleepy. Generally how it goes. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. I was just suddenly like, well, are we in Atlantis or something? No, we're not in Atlantis. Actually, I forget what this place even is. Maybe it's just a random sunken city. Well, we're no longer in Zen, dude. Good job, you scared away your only uh, companion there. You know, that kind of camera angle would suggest like you'd like expect to see the title like saying what this place is, but it doesn't. I'm sure this place has a name. It's a ruins of some sort, obviously, but I have no idea. So we're just swimming around. We don't get any random encounters while we're swimming around, although there is a point where we are swimming in a certain area and we do get random encounters. But not right now, thankfully. So quite a bit of a switch here, isn't it? It's just like everything seems perfectly normal at first, and then suddenly it all goes to chaos, and suddenly we're in a ruins, all within like 30-something minutes. I mean, wow. Save point! Travelers, Shakespeare level 1 stores a record of your travels also fully. Restores your. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Just like. So you don't have to, like, travel all the way to an inn or something, you know? Well, there's no inns nearby, is there? So it's just ruins? No history? There is one character in this game that tends to go over, like, all the lore and history of the place, but I don't think he has a comment on this place. Though I haven't played this game in years, so I can't really remember. 
you know, when I played this game years ago, like, with the characters and the determination for how they all, I was like, yeah, that's just, like, inspiring. So I'm kind of curious to see how I will be, like, this time around playing after all these years, because nowadays I'm quite a cynical person, just like, ah, it's all a load of shit, all this optimistic kind of thing like that. So it should be interesting to see, like, how, like, I'd see the plot now with a more cynical outlook, I suppose, on life. Because now I'm just like, I say, it's like, oh, uh, man, so shit when you think about it, life, isn't it? But back then, when I originally played this game, it was like, yeah, just like strong and just like look on the bright side. That's what, that's like, yeah. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons I decided to LP this game. But I had already had it in mind to LP this game eventually someday, anyway. But, anyways, that was the first part of this LP. And we will continue in the next part, where we will. Uh, I suppose, uh, figure out what the hell we're doing here. Because now it's not gonna be like sh too much shifting dramatically from like one point to another, although there are still bits like that to come. Heck, not even far from this point actually, but you get the idea. It won't be quite the same as this part where it's like, okay, so they're like running down the road, gonna play some sport of some sort. And it's just like epic music, and then suddenly apocalyptic thing happens, and then they're fighting Sin's Dandruff. Sin, who is uh, currently unexplained. And uh, then he just falls, and Orin's just like, it begins now. And then he just like gets absorbed into the sky, and suddenly he's in a ruins of some sort. He's just like, where the hell am I? Orin! And all that. So yeah. See you next time, viewers. See you next time.